when Olympia resident Dee Williams comes home from a big day at work. It doesn't take long before her world becomes very small. I call this the little house. In a building that looks more like a kid's clubhouse than adult abode, Dee is living large in a home smaller than most people's living rooms. When I tell them I live here year round, they, they think I'm nuts or soon will be nuts. Her anti supersized lifestyle began three years ago after an eye opening trip to Guatemala. I came home and I decided to downsize myself. And I bought a set of blueprints, bought a flatbed trailer, and started building from there. Over the next four months, she began to build her future 84 square foot home in the driveway of her former 1,500 square foot home in Portland. It's made out of two by fours and plywood and tar paper. And then for a lot of the materials, I tried to get them either second use. And when it was all said and done, I had ended up paying about $10,000 for the whole thing. But even after this Department of Ecology worker towed herself and her house to a friend's backyard in Olympia, she was more than a little worried. I wasn't sure. I totally set it up like an experiment. I was like, okay, you know, I'll try it. I'll give it a go. And if it works, great. And if I'm miserable, I'm going to get out. Two and a half years later, Dee says her little house has been a huge success. Welcome to my house. So right now I'm standing in the kitchen and the bathroom and the hallway and the dressing room. And I could probably read a book as well because I'm also in the library. And this is my living room. And, uh, you know, I think having different ceiling heights really helps. And you're just not going to feel claustrophobic. I mean, it's an 11-foot ceiling up there. And this, this is my bedroom. It's pretty simple. I, uh, my bed mattress is actually an old lawn chair cushion that some friends gave me. But it's awesome. Another thing that's small for Dee is her bills. I don't have a mortgage. I have a utility bill and a cell phone bill. And the utility bill is filling up my propane tank once a month. So it's like five bucks. With her electricity coming from solar panels, Dee's house is completely off the grid. I feel like I've got so much more time and money and resource available to offer it to other things, other things that are important to me. But her small world does have some big drawbacks. I have a bathroom, but I don't have a shower. So uh, I have to shower at work or I shower at friends' houses. I miss having the space that could accommodate having people over to hang out. It's been challenging. Dee Williams is the first to admit her lifestyle is not for everyone. But for her, the benefits of a smaller, simpler home have been so rewarding she has no plans to move from her little house on a trailer. I still just love it. You know, it feels good. So I think as long as that feeling is there, that's, that's a good sign that I'm supposed to be there. <laughs>